Hello everyone and welcome back to the Deloitte Women's Premier League show. You know, we've been out of action for a while now. I'm super happy to have our two wonderful guests joining me here today. And of course, we have a national team player, um, Danelle Tan from Lights DC is yes. joining us. Welcome to the show, Danelle. Thank you for having me. And you know, it's a pleasure to have you here. You know, we can't wait to hear more about your experience at the recent AFF Championships. And of course, joining her today is also a player from Haugang United, Carissa Lee. Welcome, Carissa. Thank you. No, it's such a pleasure to have you know two wonderful ladies you know representing women's football on the local scene here. But before we get into it, now we're gonna remind you guys a little bit about the Deloitte Women's Premier League. You can get all the action on the SG Women's Football website, and also share this video with your friends and follow the Deloitte WPL page to get all the action about Singapore women's football. All right, guys, let's get uh, proper into the show. You know, today is going to be a really exciting show because, like I said, we have a national women's player with us. So I'm going to get into it right now. Um, Danielle, let's talk about you for a while. How was your recent experience at the EFF Women's Championships with the Lionesses? Yeah, I think it was a very successful campaign for the team. I think we achieved the goals we set out with. Um, and obviously, you know, playing against Australia and Philippines, both who are going to the World Cup, and Thailand, who's a very seasoned team. Um, it, was, it was never going to be easy um, and at the fact that we had to play five games in nine days, even the Philippines coach was saying that <laughs> it's, it's brutal. Yep. Um, but I think it was nice that the team ended on a, on a high um, with the win, the 2-0 win against Indonesia um, and I think it was especially nice for me because I was awarded the player of the match um, so it was, it was a nice wrap up to the campaign. Yeah, congrats on that as well. And you mentioned, you know, the five games in nine days. That must have been brutal. But, you know, from home, many of us were following the Lionesses as well. And, and you know, I would say, you know, we were quite proud of you all because you guys were particularly playing some tough sides like Philippines and Thailand, right? So what were some of the takeaways you learned, especially from these teams that have qualified for the Women's World Cup? Right, Danielle? Yeah. 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 Um, I think for me, it's, it's always nice to be able to compete against the best in the region. And so that's what you you train for to match yourself up against players that are going to the World Cup and you know are obviously at a very high standard um, and so I think for me and the team it was seeing where we are and obviously we're not the finished product um, you know there are a lot of things like physicality our you know our fitness our aerial challenges that we know we need to work on um, but I think it's a it's a stepping block and at least we know the target and one day maybe we'll be, we'll be those countries as well. We will get there, guys. We will get there. <laughs> Believe in the lionesses. Okay, thanks for that, Danielle. Yeah. So, let's go over now to Carissa from Hogang. So, welcome to the show. Like I said, Carissa, how have you been? Like, have you been enjoying the WPL season so far? I think, like, for me, yeah, I have been enjoying because um, for myself and many of my teammates, it's like our first league competition. Yeah, so it's been really fun. Yeah. And for many of you who may not know, Carissa here is also a dental student at National University of Singapore, which is fantastic, you know. Um, you know, tell me a bit more about, you know, your, what you're doing currently, you know, and what course you're okay. doing, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to year three. Yeah, so I'm a year three dental student at NUS, as you mentioned. And um, when I go into year three, I start clinical, so I get to start seeing patients. So, uh, different days, I do like different procedures and stuff, which is much more fun than the initial year one, year two, where I just do theory. Yeah. <laughs> so, can you like rate me and Danelle's teeth? Right? <laughs> Solid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice we mouse. don't need to floss or anything, right? Okay, okay, all good, all good. No, I just had to ask you that because you're a future dentist and dentistry is not an easy, you know, thing as well. So it's it's pretty brilliant, you know. I'll get back to, to you about balancing that, you know, in a bit. But now Danielle, I just want to ask you guys, um you because you know the Lionesses received a lot of support from the public, but you know, recently at the AFF Championships, it was both positive as well as a bit of negativity. And I'm sure you know you guys read through it because I was speaking to your captain earlier, Ernie, about it. So um, you know, do you guys read the comments that people, you know, say about you and what's your, I'm sure that you're strong, but what, what's your reaction to that? I, I personally just block it out. I don't read any of the comments after the game. I think at the end of the day, it's, it's going to be, there's nothing good that can come out of it. I'm sure there are a lot of fans that will be cheering for us and supporting us. Um, but there's also a lot of negative comments, as you mentioned. Um, and so I just tend to just not get anything. I think it's the easiest way. Uh, I think I have a small group of people that I really trust and so after the game I will talk to them, see how I can, can improve, uh, speak to them about my game, discuss some areas and I think that, that's what works for me 
Um, so yeah, it's just blocking it up. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I think it's important as well as players, right, to yeah. always stay focused and not get carried away mm -hmm. by all this negativity because we need positivity in women's football, <laughs> guys. We need it. So leave all the hate elsewhere. Okay, Carissa, <laughs> I'm going to move to you now. <laughs> How is it like juggling, you know, like I said, your school and football? It mm -hmm. is tough, isn't it? Like, you know, the challenges that, that you face. I think like uh, prioritizing my things that are important to me and like time management is very important. Uh, having the discipline, so like for example on training days I focus more on trainings than on school days I just focus on school. And like planning ahead, like if I know I have something to prepare for, then mm. I will prepare for it, yeah. So you mentioned earlier as well about how Gang, this is your first ever season and yeah. you know we had your teammate Dania earlier yeah. as well. <laughs> and shout out to Dania because she's got me hooked on Harry Styles by the way. I don't know <laughs> she knows Harry Styles. So now I'm just using all his music in my videos. But I mean, like, are you enjoying you know, your teammates and, 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 and yeah, whatever's happening in Haogang at the moment? Yeah, I think, uh, as I mentioned, it was a very eye-opening experience. Cause, um, so for my team, it's like, made up of uh, a bunch of junior players and senior players. So um, for the junior players, we are very thankful to have the senior players to guide us. And I think it's a very like, encouraging environment. So there's a lot of learning and yeah. All right, now it's back to you, Janelle. You are with Lion City Sailors, who, you know, I have to admit, are a very strong side in the men's team as well. And I would say favourites as well to win the league. You know, let's just be honest. So, um, you know, what's it like being with uh, the, the Sailors for, for this season, especially with, like, what I mentioned earlier, with all the, I would say, the standards they have set for yeah. football? Yeah, so I, I haven't been with, the, with Lion City Sailors for the first couple of match weeks. And so I'm very excited to join back with the team. Um, I've been following a, a lot of the news about the Women's Premier League from the UK um, and so I'm very excited to be a part of it now um, and to play yeah, matches with the team. Wow, nice. It's great to know that you've been supporting. I'm sure that you know, your teammates are happy about that. <laughs> okay, um, Carissa, back to you now. You know, how did you get started in football? You know? Tell me a bit about how your love for the beautiful game started and now you're playing, you know, that's amazing. Uh, I think for me, like, I first started in JC, so I was like 17, like, how old are you? so old. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I started in JC because uh, like my secondary school we didn't have like yeah and I think maybe for me then like because my family like my father and my brother don't really play also so wow. I just wanted to like take the leap of faith and like try wow. something new in JC yeah and then like ever since then like from the support of my coaches like in JC until now then um, I think it was a good choice. Well, you mentioned yeah. earlier that your father and your brother don't play, you know. So yeah. what has been, you know, the the reaction <laughs> from them? You know, having a woman in, in their family play football. Um, I think they're quite surprised. Yeah, but generally they are very supportive. Like, yeah, my mom's just a bit scared I get injured. And stuff. <laughs> it's normal. It's okay, oh, you know. Yeah, all yeah, moms, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure for your mom. Yeah. You know, um, you know that's always nice to, to know as well that family has, has yeah. you guys is back. Okay, so I just want to know as well for Danielle. You know, you, you're also doing your studies overseas at the moment, right? I believe, and you're back here for a bit. So, you know, how has it been like for you overseas? You know, do you miss home, and, and how do you cope with, with with that? Yeah, to be to be honest, I thought I would become more homesick <laughs> <laughs> because living away from home, and I've always been very close with my family, um, and so living away from home, I, would, I was, it was like it's so daunting, mm -hmm. right? Um, but I think I've settled in very nicely. I think the the staff at school and everyone that's been there, like my friends, the, the teachers, they've all been very welcoming, uh, making it feel like a like a home really. Uh, and so, but I still call my parents every day. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I I settled in very nicely. So you know, mentioning calling your parents every day, do you miss like home cooked food or? Oh, for sure. I <laughs> <laughs> beat Singapore or home cooked food. It's just. Different. Yeah, because you are living in quite a cosmopolitan city, London, right? Yeah, I believe. So you, you have a lot of options for food. Do you? Mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, because I stay in a boarding school. Okay. Um, and so we we get like food like serves for us in, okay. in this part of the land. But I mean, you can always get outside food, but it's, it's just very costly. Yes. Uh, so we tend to just eat the school provided food. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> you know, if you guys want to send Danielle food and you want to So speaking of WPL Carissa, you know, are you enjoying the season so far, you know, and what, what who are some of the toughest opponents you know you faced? Um, yeah, I'm enjoying the season. Um, toughest opponent, I think we all know <laughs> who the toughest opponent is. But I think for me, because like, it's very new, so like every uh, team, like there are different challenges and all the players, like they're all very skilled. So I learn a lot of things from like every single match. Carissa, I believe you know, you're staying in a dorm, right? NUS dorm. So how is it like every weekend you know, on a match day for you? What's your match day sort of routine? 
Hey, so I stay in a uh, hall in NUS and I try to go home during the weekends. For me, uh, I try like, how I prepare for it is I get more sleep because I don't get much during the weekdays with school and training. <laughs> yeah, so I usually sleep the whole day. Yeah, that's how yeah, I prepare we all for sleep, it. Right? <laughs> sleep is important. Okay. Um, no, Danielle, um, you know, I was just going to ask you as well about your experience playing with an overseas academy and how different is it like, you know, um, and yeah, what impresses you the most, I would say? I think... I think the coaching level impresses me the most. I think the level of detail that the coaches go into to like cri- help you improve and critique your like technique or even if it's just like footwork or your foot patterns. Um, I think that's something that really um, really helped me improve when I went there and it was something that I wasn't familiar with when I was training back in Singapore. Alright, so before we go to Carissa, I just want to remind you guys that we now have some really cool highlights from the recent match day. So let's have a look.
Let's have a look at the latest league table as well as the upcoming fixtures for the Women's League. Okay, Carissa, what are your hopes with the Haogang team this season? I think we hope to be better players at the end of the season. Yeah. Individually, as a team? Individually, uh, individually like, I hope that all skills like, improve and as a team, uh, I hope that we continue like, fighting all together. And you know, I'm sure that you guys will just continue to put in all the work every week, week in and week out. You know? No matter what, I think it's important that we, like I said, support all the teams in the WPL, okay? And um, you know, let's go to you, Danelle. You know, maybe we can get a quick one before we wrap up the show. You know, a little bit about you know, um, some of the challenges you face and, and also you know, how you overcome them. I think one of the biggest challenges that I've faced in my career is injuries. I think every athlete has their fair share of injuries. Well, hopefully not, but <laughs> uh, I think at one point or another, a lot of athletes have faced injuries. And so I currently have quite a few injuries on my knees. And so that's always been challenging. Um, and with any injury, it's always like two steps forward, one step back. Um, and so the, the, the improvement or like the recovery process is never linear. And that's what frustrates us the most and frustrated me the most. Uh, but I think how I overcame it was having a good support network you know, like my friends, my family around me, I had a very dedicated coach that, you know, really wanted me to, yep. to get better and recover. Um, and, I, so, and so I think it's very important to have your own sort of support network to help you. And support is very important, Carissa. You know, um, I wish you guys all the best for the upcoming, um, you know, Women's Premier League. And before we go, I just want to get a message, maybe Carissa, you know, to all the people watching out there, um, you know, perhaps who love or, or are interested in women's football and, or even a career, you know, like yourself in women's football. I think, uh, thank you for your support and please continue supporting. And Danielle as well, do you have, you know, words for perhaps those who are watching you as well as the Lionesses, you know? Um, yeah, I think similarly, I'll say thank you all for your support. Um, you know, the support that we... Okay, we're getting it. Sorry. Oh, um, good, oh, good. Um, Do as many times as you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think similarly, I'll say thank you all for your support. It means the world to us. It's really, it's really different playing in front of, of a crowd. And I think I've, I've been lucky to experience that when I played in the recent Hong Kong friendlies. And I'm sure that a lot of the national team players will say the same. And so it'll be really nice if you guys can come down to our WPL matches and support us. Well said, Danelle, and I hope that you guys continue to support all women's football as well as the league itself. We'd love to see you at the games, guys, and you can catch all the information officially on the Deloitte Women's Premier League page, all the info and all the standings. And I'm Ash Hashim. Thank you so much, Danelle, as well as Carissa, for joining. Thank you. All the best, you know, for the season ahead and the national team as well. And, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!